Good day YouTubers. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to export to Excel through the use of C Sharp in uh, Visual Studio. As you can see I have a form on the screen that uh, contains first name, last name, address, city, zip code, state, any normal user profile information that you'd find on websites and stuff. And uh, we're going to export uh, the information that's displayed in the form to Excel. Now for starters, you have to add the XLCOM object so that you can use the XL API. You're going to do this by right clicking on references, add reference, and you're going to look through and find Microsoft Excel. It's going to be with the Office Interop. And you'll see I have two installed. It's because I have. Uh, Microsoft Office 2003 and 2007 installed, so we're going to use 2007, so that's version 12.0. Going to go OK. Now, as you can see on the right side of our screen, the reference to Excel's COM object that we're going to use in our code has now been added to the project. Here's our form that I was talking about. I'm going to double click the export button and produce the event method and we are going to start here well for starters we're going to go to the top and make sure we add the use of using and then you can see there's the interop and there's excel we're going to add it just like that go back down to our method here now the first thing that you're going to do is uh, there's three things you have to do you have to create the application object which is the actual Excel application that doesn't contain any documents or anything. And then you have to create a workbook. And within those workbooks, you have worksheets. So we need each of those. So I'm going to type in Here is our, the application class, and we create an object of that. I'm going to call it XLA new and just let it make that. The first thing we'll do, just so you can see what's going on, is okay, sorry, before I jump ahead, let's create the workbook. Name that object or double B equals, and now we have to use the application object we just created. going to add I can never remember these objects sheet type Excel worksheets And now we need a worksheet, and we're going to cast the XLA dot active sheet. Oh, man, excuse my typing. Here we cast the active sheet that's currently in Excel as the the worksheet object. Now, everything is in place. We are going to make the we want to make the Microsoft Excel visible so that you can actually see it being added. So we'll just do use our XLA object and dot visible and set it to true. Under normal conditions, you would maybe set it to false until the export is done and then set it to true. But for purposes of demonstration, I'm going to set it to true at the beginning so you can actually see the data being put into Excel. Uh, now the rest is pretty simple as you can see we have uh, these uh, six text boxes and we're just going to write them now uh, 
to our worksheet object if you go worksheet dot cells and you can see the first uh, parameter is the row index and the next one's the column index now what's important to know is that this is a uh, one based index Excel is one based index so the very first index is one as opposed to in C sharp many arrays and uh, objects you work with have a zero based index so anyway so we're going to say row one and then column one and we're going to set the first row to let's see what did we have we had first name last name address city zip state so let's uh, create uh, column headings so first name Okay, it's getting a little. I'm trying to remember the best the row index too. Let me just make all of them, and then I'll type them in quick. Okay, so you can see that's column three, four, five, and six. And what did we say? Last name, address. City zip code state. Now we want to dump uh, those text box strings underneath those column headings. So we're going to go to cells and go to the second row now and dump this underneath the first name equals. And then I named it first name dot text. Now, cells to second column equals txt last name dot text. Okay, once again getting very re repetitive. Four, five, six last name. I'm just trying to speed things up a little. City TXT states and TXT zip. Okay, I believe, and now let's go ahead and run this and see how we did. And uh, hopefully, I don't have any bugs. Now, let me bring this into our view. So, we have here first name is Barry. Hello, my address is 300 East City Road, Grapevine, uh, you know I mixed the zip code but it doesn't matter, this is for demonstration, 7651 State, we can say Texas, okay, let's try this magic button, we hit export, and as you can see, our Excel spreadsheet has exported data. Now this is very, I've used a very simple approach to this. Um, I mean, it gets a lot more complicated when you start creating loops and you start dumping from data sets which have a zero base index and you've got to convert them to a one based index. But Hopefully you guys can go and do this at home. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please join me. I'll be adding a few very similar videos like this. So, And uh, if you have any requests, I'll gladly make the effort to make the video for you. Thank you.